I have random thoughts in my head, and sometimes I let them come out of my mouth. Hi! Welcome back to Random Thoughts! Okay, we have um, my good friend Jamie on the line. Jamie, say hi! Hi! Okay, so I was watching this um, commercial, and I don't know about you guys, but when I see those commercials with all the animals where they're being hurt and whatnot, I get so sad I just can't watch them. I'll either change or I'll watch them to see what they're saying. And I was watching that one with the Sarah McLaughlin song, you know, In the Arms of the Angel. And I thought of Jamie because she, like, as long as I've known her, she's all about animals and helping them and making sure they're okay. And I just wanted to ask you, Jamie, do those, like, um, when you watch those videos, are they, like, touching to you? Or, like, do you donate? Or does it make you, um... Wanna I have to personally me. I know I shouldn't, but it's because it's so sad that I have this act to change the channel. Really? It just it, it just breaks my heart to see how many animals are being abused on a daily basis. It's just it just breaks, it breaks my heart. So, same here. Um, I saw what was the com there was one of those commercials they had like it was like it looked like the guy was gonna go smack um a, a um. Oh, what's that called? A uh, shovel over the head of like a seal or something? I'm like, really? Do the people really do this? Yeah, I was actually looking up uh, statistics, uh, statistics today um, from the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. um, for for the statistics, uh, sixty four percent of the of the animal abuse is dogs. Eighteen percent is cats. Surprisingly, I mean, not surprisingly, but twenty five percent of the dogs that are abused. Our pitbulls. Wow. So people just, just I, I just don't understand why I get an animal just so you can torture it. I mean, it's just, it just uh -huh. doesn't make sense. Exactly. You know, it's like, um, you know, we take in these animals because they're supposed to be like our family, like our treasured pets. And it makes me wonder if you're beating on animals more like, like this, are you beating on your family too? I mean, it's the same thing, you know? Well, usually it goes, usually it goes hand in hand. If there's abuse in the household, it doesn't just, focus on one individual, mm -hmm. usually everybody, including the animals. So yeah, they're saying that 70% of, of all animal abusers have at least one time committed another crime. 40% um. of them have, 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 committed, have committed violent crimes against humans. So it stems from the person themselves. Yeah. It's a different like, mental imbalance. So do you think they abuse animals because it's a lesser punishment? Like, what, oh, absolutely. what is the punishment? Like, do they just pay a fine or something? Like, I've always wondered, like, what is the punishment? I personally oh, well, there's, think... There's, there's fines, and depending on the level of abuse, there's also imprisonment. Oh, really? Well, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I, I mean, I, yeah. I, I wasn't really sure. Like, I always just thought it was just fines. Like, I never, I, I didn't... I, I mean, I personally think if you're abusing and killing animals, you should be put behind jail for just the amount, of, same amount of time you would be for abusing and killing a person, in my opinion. Right. I, I think that's exactly why. Especially with an animal who's so defenseless yeah. and, 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 has, and has no voice. It's, it's just like abusing a child. like. Exactly. You know, you exactly. got this, this animal, this person to trust you, you know, you get them to trust you and love you and then you do this to them, I, you know, I don't know. So do you and like, um, example, hmm? So I was going to say, for example, take my, my, Michael Vick's dogs. The majority of these dogs, the ones that weren't too bad, were all, were all rehabilitated. Half of them are now therapy dogs. And the rest of them have all been adopted. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that if, it, if, if people is trying to fight, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're, that, that, that they're going to be a vicious dog. Okay. All these dogs, all, all these dogs that were saved are either therapy dogs or, or adopted to, to uh, love, love these families. Well, I'm, cool. not sure if you, I'm not sure if you knew this, but pit bulls back in the day were actually referred to as nanny dogs. Like people actually leave, leave their kids with, with, with pit bulls wow. as a babysitter. So pit bulls are just getting a bad rap because most people are using them to, to fight instead of, you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They're the most loyal dog you could ever, ever have. Have you ever owned a pit bull? 
actually have one. Oh yeah. I just I just got the one. Oh, what's its name? Yeah. Um, Ava. Oh. Yeah, she's a, she's Brenda. She's uh she's four months old. How yeah, sweet. My, my, my sister has one. Sadie, she's eleven years old. Her and my niece, my older niece, they grew up together. They were, they were born. They were, they were two days apart with their Aww. birthdays. Same year, two days apart, and this dog, Joey, when I tell you this dog is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Like this dog, the kids, I was over there one day. These kids were actually doing flips over the dog, but she was just standing there. <laughs> they would stand on her, lay on her, then she would just stand there and, and take it. She wouldn't growl or snarl, wouldn't, like, go after them or nothing. Oh, see, well, yeah. now you see, viewers, you can, if you've got a bad thinking about uh, pit bulls, then you can obviously see they're not as, you know, bad as people say they are. Because I know, uh, me personally, I'm not going to lie, I definitely had, like, the stereotypical thought of what pit bulls are going to be like. So I try to avoid them like the plague. Well, I personally have never really been a dog person until recently. And that's only because I've been around so many people who have them. And I'm starting to like them more. Just don't lick me and we're okay. I can't do the licking thing. I don't care how much people tell me their tongues are clean. I don't like anything licking me. Not cats, not dogs, not people. Don't lick me. That's just gross. <laughs> do you have like um, a charity that you donate to or even donate your time to? Um, we actually work, um, we're actually working with like the FTCA in Philadelphia. Um, we're working with the animal adoption out in New Jersey. Okay. Along with um, AWA and, and, and the Animal Orphanage. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we just pick up we just pick up strays like off, off the street. Like uh, actually, it's my 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 two cats are both strays. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Angel. We've, we've, um, we've done. Angel wants a dog, and I um, wanted to sign her up at the SPCA out here in Raleigh because they have, uh-huh. like, a kids um, program where they're getting to learn about animals, and they get to help walk them and learn how to treat them and everything. So yeah. I wanted to sign her up for that. But I, um, you know, I'm not, like, the richest person in the world, and I think that's why, I, that's, a, that's another reason I changed the channel when I see those commercials, because it's like, oh, it's breaking my heart, and I wish I had the money to give, but you know what, people don't <laughs> understand, if you just go to your local SPCA or animal shelter, you can donate your time, that's just as good as donating your money, you know? Exactly, because I, I know a lot of others like actually do need the help. Mhm, mhm. So to you out there, I definitely recommend if you want to help and you can't take, you know, you don't have the money, but you have the time, then definitely go ahead and do what you can do. So, um, thank you, Jamie, for for You're welcome very much. coming. Um, uh, we're gonna close this out with the random question of the day. And the random question of the day is, do you have a strange addiction? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I have an addiction, but I don't know if it's that strange. I'm addicted to pictures. Well, I do, too. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's strange. Well, you kind of know what my addiction is. I was there all through school. Oh, Madonna. Madonna is my addiction. <laughs> but anyway, but wait, that's, YouTubers... That's what you uh-huh. And that's what you enjoy. Exactly. So I guess it's your hobby. I don't know. I don't know. YouTubers, you tell me, what is your strange addiction? Put it in the comments below. Um, definitely hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And have a great random day. Bye.